In the world of dividend investing, the allure of constant, consistent paid dividends over a long period of time is undeniable. And as investors seek to build a stable and consistent cash flow, monthly paying dividend stocks have emerged as a popular option. Now, monthly paying dividend stocks offer a unique advantage, providing investors with a monthly paycheck, if you will, from their investments. And although just because a stock pays on a monthly basis versus a quarterly basis doesn't necessarily mean it's better or worse, there are a few key advantages of monthly paying dividend stocks. Like, for example, they provide a greater financial stability for people looking to use these dividends to maybe pay bills on a monthly basis, help them manage their cash flow, or just get paid more frequently to reinvest into other things. Now, in this video, we are going to go over all 58 stocks that currently pay dividends monthly and examine all they have to offer. Now, there's a lot of different names here, so get comfortable and make sure you stick around for the entire video because there are some unknown high quality monthly payers in this list that you're not going to want to miss. So let's go ahead and get started with all this right after you please drop a like in this video and subscribe for more content like this in the future. So this right here is every single monthly paying stock and this information is courtesy from Simply Save Dividends. So quick shout out to Simply Save Dividends for all this information. So the first stock on the list is ticker symbol O, which is Realty Income. Realty Income is a large cap retail REIT, which owns over 1,100 properties, mostly focused on retail and spread across more than 1,000 tenants operating in roughly 70 industries. Realty Income generates most of its rents from tenants that have a service non-discretionary or low price point element to their business. Realty Income's current dividend yield is around 5% and Realty Income has an uninterrupted dividend streak of around 53 years. The second monthly payer is Main Street Capital. Now, Main Street Capital's roots trace back to the mid-1990s, making it one of the oldest BDCs or business development companies. Main Street Capital has a current dividend yield of around 7% and has an uninterrupted dividend streak of around 14 years. Main Street Capital is one of my favorite monthly payers, and I've personally been buying a lot more of it as of recently. The third monthly paying dividend stock has also been on my radar as of recently. It's Agree Realty Corporation. Now, GRE owns over 1,600 freestanding single tenant properties leased primarily to national retailers with investment grade credit ratings. Now, this, in my opinion, is also a safe monthly paying REIT with a dividend yield of around 4.4% and an uninterrupted dividend streak of around 10 years. The next monthly payer is Stag Industrial. Stag Industrial is a monthly payer that I've personally been holding onto for a very long time. Now, Stag rents to single tenant properties most which are located in small markets to hundreds of different tenants operating across more than 40 industries. Now, Stag's dividend safety has been argued whether it's safe or maybe borderline safe, but so far it's been paying a monthly dividend for around 10 years and offers an around 4% dividend yield. The next monthly payer is RIO, CF or Rio Can Real Estate. Now, this is another one that's been pretty popular in the dividend community. Rio Can owns over 200 shopping centers and mixed-use properties located in large high-density markets such as Toronto, Ottawa, or Calgary. This stock has a 5.4% dividend yield. And again, a sort of safe dividend as far as in the safety measure, but overall a high-quality REIT that's been around for quite a while. The next monthly payer is TRS, WF, or TransAlta Renewables, Inc. Now, this was created in 2012 to, to create a portfolio of power generation facilities by parent and sponsor TransAlta Corporation, which owns around 60% of this firm. Now, this monthly payer has an uninterrupted dividend streak of around eight years and a dividend yield of 7.8%. The next monthly payer is Gladstone Investment Corporation, or ticker symbol GAN. Now, this is a business development company with a 7.3% dividend yield and an uninterrupted dividend streak of 12 years. GAN is another monthly payer that I've owned on and off over the last five or six years, and currently I don't own any of it. Number eight is another popular one in the dividend community, ticker symbol LAND Land or Gladstone Land Corporation. Now, Land is a specialized REIT with a 3.2% dividend yield and a seven year uninterrupted dividend streak. The next monthly payer is SLRC or SLR Investment Corp. Now, this is an externally managed business development company with a massive 11.5% dividend yield and an uninterrupted dividend streak of around seven years. Next up, this monthly payer is ticker symbol PECO or Phillips Edison and Company Inc. Now, this is a retail REIT which owns around 300 grocery anchored shopping centers located in secondary or suburban markets. Now, this REIT has a dividend yield of 3.3% and has an uninterrupted dividend streak of just one year. 
The next monthly payer is another one that's popular among many dividend investors that I know. It's EPR or EPR Properties. EPR owns over 350 experimental properties, including things like movie theaters. EPR has a dividend yield of 7.2%. And even though EPR has had its ups and downs in the past, this is still a very popular monthly payer. The next monthly payer is ticker symbol SLG or SL Green Realty Corp. Now this is Manhattan's largest office landlord and has roots tracing back to the 1980s. Holds interest in over 60 buildings located in New York and the metropolitan area. Now SLG is an office REIT with a 12.5% dividend yield. And if you're interested in the office REIT space, definitely check this one out. Now this next monthly payer is one that I owned a while back. It's APLE Apple Hospitality REIT. This is a REIT that owns over 200 hotels located across more than 30 states. This REIT has a dividend yield of 6.3% and also has had its ups and downs, but is still pushing along quite nicely. This next monthly payer I have not personally heard of. It's PFLT, it's Pennant Park Floating Rate Capital. Now this is another business development company that has a dividend yield of 11.5% and it has an uninterrupted dividend streak of 10 years. Next up the monthly payer ticker symbol GOOD, G-O-O-D, or Gladstone Commercial Corporation. Now GOOD is a diversified REIT with over 130 industrial and office properties, leased to more than 100 different tenants and around 20 industries. GOOD has a dividend yield of 9.3% and has 18 years of uninterrupted dividends paid. The next monthly payer is GLAD or Gladstone Capital, another one that I've owned on and off over time. GLAD is a business development company as well, has a 9.9% dividend yield. And although GLAD is looked to be on more the risky side, GLAD has paid somewhat of a dividend over a very, very long time period. The next monthly payer, LTC Properties or ticker symbol LTC. This is another one that I owned a while back and sold back in 2021, I think. LTC is a healthcare REIT and began providing mortgages to skilled nursing facilities a while back. LTC has a dividend yield of 6.7% and has 19 years of uninterrupted dividend streak. Next up, we have ticker symbol HRZN or Horizon Technology Finance. This is a company that I purchased a few shares of as of recently. It's a business development company, has a 10.9% dividend yield, and has an uninterrupted dividend streak of around four years. Next up, we have ticker symbol PSEC or Prospect Capital Corporation, another one that's sort of popular in a subset of the dividend community. PSEC is a business development company that has an 11.6% dividend yield and has a three-year dividend streak. The next one, ticker symbol WSR, I've not heard about this one personally, Whitestone REIT. This REIT owns around 60 shopping centers around Arizona and Texas apparently, has a 5% dividend yield, and might be one to look into if you're interested in the retail REIT space. Next up, we have ticker symbol SCM or Stellas Capital Investment Corporation. Now, SEM is another business development company. It has a dividend yield of 11.5%. It has had some dividend cuts in the past, but definitely still one to look into. Next up, another one I have not heard of, ticker symbol EFC or Ellingen Financial Inc. This is considered a hybrid mortgage REIT or an externally managed mortgage REIT with an investment portfolio spanning into residential and commercial mortgages. Now this hybrid mortgage REIT has a 13.4% dividend yield and has a one year dividend streak. The next monthly payer is ticker symbol EARN or EARN Ellington Residential Mortgage REIT. Now this is a mortgage REIT focused on owning mortgaged backed securities. This residential mortgage REIT has a 13.4% dividend yield and might be a monthly payer worth looking into. The next monthly payer is OXSQ Oxford Square Capital Corp. This is a business development company, has a 15.5% dividend yield. So, so far, I think this might be the biggest monthly yielder. This company provides capital to relatively small and private businesses that can't access traditional financing from banks. The next monthly payer is ticker symbol DX or Dynex Capital Inc. This is a residential mortgage REIT with a 12.7% dividend yield. Now, this mortgage REIT has had a dividend cut several times, so keep that in mind if you want to look into it. Here's a more familiar one, AGNC or AGNC Investment Corp. This is a residential mortgage REIT also with a 14.2% dividend yield and a one-year dividend streak. Here's another monthly payer that I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of or maybe even own. This is ARR or Armor Residential REIT. This is, you guessed it, another residential mortgage REIT with a whopping 18.7% dividend yield and an uninterrupted dividend streak of one year. 
So this externally managed mortgage REIT has the largest monthly dividend yield that we've seen so far. The next one is ticker symbol ORC or Orchid Island Capital Inc. This is a residential mortgage REIT with, with an 18.8% dividend yield. The next monthly payer is ticker symbol SBR or Sabine Royalty Trust. This is an energy or oil and gas royalty company with a 12.2% dividend yield and a uninterrupted dividend streak of one year. The next monthly payer is GWRS or Global Water Resources. Now this company was formed in 2003 and has a monthly paid dividend without interruption since going public in 2016. GWRS has a dividend yield of around 2.4% and might be one worth looking into. The next monthly payer is Slate Grocery REIT. This owns 120 U.S. grocery anchored shopping centers spanning more than 20 states. This monthly payer has an 8.63% dividend yield with zero years dividend growth, but has been paying seven cents per share per month for a while now. Now for the rest of this list, guys, these are a lot of over the counter or very small micro cap companies that are sort of even hard to find any sort of basic information, but we do have BSRTF, which is a Canadian based REIT that owns around 30 apartments. We then have ticker symbol MRTI, another monthly payer, Maxis Realty Trust. We have CT REIT or CTRRF. We have FRMUF or Firm Capital Property Trust. We have Severia, SISXF. We have Diversified Royalty or BEVFF. We have GROW or US Global Investors. We have Motive MDV. We have Flagship Communities REIT or FLGMF. We have Generation Income Properties or GIPR one of the smallest monthly paying stocks with a market cap below 50 million. We have Primaris REIT or PMREF. We have Timber Creek Financial or TBCRF. We have Fortitude Gold, FTCO, Pine Cliff Energy, PIFYF. We have Paramount Resources, PRMRF, Alpine Summit Energy Partners or ALPS, and Tarmac Valley Energy or TNEYF. So now that we went through every single last monthly paying dividend stock as of right now in 2023, I want you guys to comment down below two things. For one, what is your number one favorite monthly paying dividend stock out of this entire list? And for two, what is one new name that you might look into? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like in the video and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thanks for stopping by as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.